September or October. Uh, that means all water is drained. Uh, everything is closed off so that the pipes and things won't freeze. About 10 years ago, during the winter, someone came and stole all the pipes that were under because they were all bronze. Mm. So that they were all replaced. But we had a man from Harrisburg who came and said, is it really this hot? The sisters have to, you know, have to sustain this heat. So he donated air condition for the community room, for the lobby, and the dining room. So there's two places we have air conditioning for the enjoy it. Okay. Yeah, because although when there's three nights, the weather does not agree, it's hot. But we really don't need that. How many years have you been coming here personally? Since I entered and 66. originally, and 200 feet of lawn leading to the water. In the mid-80s, this is when it became a home for the aged and infirmed colored sisters. And here in 1909, Robert McDermott brokered and helped us buy from the Elmira Hazard Estate this house. And then this is what happened. We later purchased the White House across the street that has a St. Joseph statue that's called St. Joseph's House. It used to be called the Priest House because the priests always uh, stay there and they pretty much still do. Um, but also the sisters who are directors stay there as well. We purchased that from the same estate. So we could go back and look at the rest of So they come through and look at all of these. How often do you look at not often because we start retreats on the last day, the day after school closes, and go straight through until they're done. So we 
we don't really open it. Uh, There's a bathroom. I think here the last time it was open for a tour was uh, when we celebrated the 100th anniversary of the building being built. just for artists. Um, usually, we have a guided retreat where you will go to the chapel for conferences twice a day, and then the rest of the day, you're on your own to reflect. Uh, they're still quiet, but people can go out to the beach and talk if they wish. The house is quiet, though, during the retreats. The rest of the retreats are directed retreats. There, there are two kinds. The directed retreats, one director for each person. Each director might have five people and they meet with us for about 40, 45 minutes to talk about how our prayer life has been that day, what's going on in our prayer, and then lead us to continue to um, speak about scripture and study and pray for the rest of the time. But you're on your own. It's just solitude and prayer, with the exception of mass every day and the 40 minutes you spend with your director. The rest of it is, is solid prayers. Um, solitude is your vacation with God. Yeah. 